Hi, my name is Darek and welcome to whatever we're doing here. In today's video, I want to show you how I made this nice little cool looking candle. Stay tuned. So what we're gonna need to complete our mission successfully today is no different than what we need to make any other scented candle. And we're gonna need wax. In my case, it is parasoy wax. We need pouring pitcher to melt our wax and put it into container. Then we need container, dice. I have four dice. I have green, red, yellow, and blue kitchen scale and we need some weak centering tool and obviously some sticky pads to secure our wick. So without further ado, let's get to it. We'll take our glass, I already prepared it so it's nice and clean. Uh, I'm gonna take my awesome DIY ring, uh, wick centering tool. We're gonna take our wick and we're gonna place it in the middle of the of the glass. Simple as that. Okay, we have our wick already installed. Now we're gonna take our wick centering tool. And now we're ready to melt the wax. So let's measure how much wax we need and let's go and melt it. I need 220 grams of wax, so that's all I need. So nothing special here, just standard double boiler method. We're gonna melt our wax all the way down to uh, 80 degree. At the moment I have 51 and then we're gonna add our fragile soil so our wax melted very very nicely time to pour it so what i don't want to do is i don't want to put uh, the dye into my pouring uh, pitcher so i'm gonna pour the wax into the glass just normal standard candle candle glass. I'm gonna add the fresh rinse, sorry, the dye. Then I'm gonna stir it inside. And then I'm gonna use my kitchen dispenser. I'm gonna pour it into my kitchen dispenser. And from the kitchen dispenser, I'm gonna pour it and now we need to wait for the wax to solidify. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean my kitchen dispenser to be ready for another layer. And once you're waiting for a wax to solidify, it is perfect time for you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Unless you never choose the proper wick for your candle, then, then don't. So for layer number two, we're doing exactly the same. So I pour uh, some wax into the candle glass and I add the green dye. I forgot to press record. That's why you don't have it on the camera, but it's nothing, nothing really new. And I'm gonna use my kitchen disperser again. Very dark this green. I think I add a little bit too much dye. And now we're gonna pour some. <clears throat> so now the plan is to pour it in the way that it's gonna match those two layers. I don't know what you, if you understand what I'm on about, but I will show you in a second. Okay. 
Okay, and last layer that we're gonna make will be blue. And that's everything really, the candle is made. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching.